I cannot even begin to express how excited I am for this. I'm not the kind of person to get excited about perfume ordinarily. I'm not the biggest fan of the beauty industry. But when it comes to nostalgia, that is where I get my happiness. And this perfume is actually really difficult to find. And I've been desperate to get hold of it for many years now. I first had this when I was 15, so half my lifetime ago. And I absolutely loved it. And I've wanted it ever since, or at least over the last couple of years. And finally, as luck would have it, I found it on eBay. It was about £40, which is more than I would pay for perfume ordinarily. I wouldn't buy, you know, a, a brand new perfume that I've never had before for that price. But I kind of couldn't help myself because, as I said, it was very rare. The fact that it came up all of a sudden, really looking forward to it. So I'm hoping it lives up to my memory. But either way, I'm just overjoyed to finally have it. I'm not going to use it that much. I'm going to try and preserve it for as long as possible, but I'm not going to not use it because obviously that would be a little bit wasteful. But I'm keen to see if this unleashes some 15-year-old memories that I maybe have forgotten. Um, I did also have Kylie's Darling, um, which I actually have a bottle of just now. That's not that rare. And... I think I had Midnight Darling or Sweet Darling. Sweet Darling was the one I had. I never had Midnight Darling. I'm trying to get into this without making too much noise. Um, I can't remember when I got this originally. I think it would, would have been a birthday present or a, a Christmas present. Um, the packaging is obviously ridiculous. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll have a quick overview of it in a second once I'm actually getting into this. I was going I was thinking of taking this off before I pressed record, but I wanted this to be as real of a reaction to me revealing it for the first time in 15 years as possible. Well, I say 15 years. I probably had it for a couple of years after I got it. But the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. Not the same all around. I don't know if there is... Oh, that's very metallic and very hard to read. I'm just trying to see if there's a manufacturing date on it. Not that I can see. It's got a shelf life of 36 months. So is this even still suitable for use? Who knows? Since it's brand new and never been used, hopefully it will be fine. Okay, here we go. Slightly nervous. I remember what it looks like. Um, just move these out of the way. And I do remember what it smells like, but I know that scent memories can be different over the years. Oh, you're a little bit upside down. There we go. Oh, look at you. And... There we have it. That exactly, you can see my face, my very scrappy looking bun on the top of my head. Um, but it's exactly what I remembered it looking like. And I know you can't smell it and I wish you could. That's it. I know it sounds obvious, but that is exactly what I remember, and it's... I wish you could smell it. I'm terrible at describing fragrances and scents. I'm really not very good at that at all. But, um, I'll find the description online and include some kind of scent description, in case you're not familiar with it. But it's very sweet. Very, very sweet. Maybe a bit floral, but... And the way it smells like my teenagehood, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm completely over the moon with this. And it's just everything about it has brought back just an instant wave of nostalgia, which is obviously what I was hoping it would do. And considering I hadn't smelled it in quite a few years, there was always the chance that I had maybe misremembered it or loved it too much. But honestly... 
I'm so glad I finally found it. It's everything I remembered and definitely what I hoped it would be like.